This proposition, rather than offering a solution, appears to be a deliberate and calculated maneuver aimed at exacerbating the existing instability in the region for a political expediency. We therefore unequivocally and emphatically condemn the APC call for a set of emergency in River State, as it is not only unwarranted, but also a deliberate attempt to plunge the state into chaos, confusion, and turmoil. This move is a thinly veiled ploy to conceal their own culpability and destabilize the peace in River State for political gain. The narrative being perpetrated by the APC is patently false and misleading, as they, are seek, as, as they seek to portray themselves as innocent bystanders while deflecting accountability for the current situation. We, however, see through this small stream and recognize their actions for what they truly are, a deliberate attempt to manipulate the situation for political advantage, while we acknowledge that the security situation in River State is a concern that requires attention. We urge the relative relevant authorities to adopt proactive measures that address the root causes of this issue. Declaring a state of emergency is not a viable solution, as it will only lead to further violence, displacement, and human rights violations in that region. We have been observing this grave, with great concern the interpretation and recent calls for a state of emergency by APC, and we are firmly co convinced that the declaration is not aligned with the best interests of River State and its inhabitants. Only the contrary, it appears to be a deliberate and calculated scheme designed to precipitate monumental chaos and confusion in the state. A development that is both unfortunate and deeply distressing. It is apparent that APC is exploiting this call for a state of emergency as a small stream to obscure their own actions in River State, a ploy that we as organizations seriously dedicate to promoting peace and stability cannot and will not condone. The people of River State deserve a far better than to be exploited as mere pawns in political game, characterized by machinization and manipulation. We are persuaded that the APC call for state of emergency is a political motivated maneuver aimed at undermining the current administration of in River State, a dangerous plot to destabilize the state and create an atmosphere of fear, uncertainty, and turmoil. We wish to unequivocally condemn the strong, with strongest possible terms the call for state of emergency in River State, as it would only to further destabilize the region, exacerbate the suffering of its people, and perpetuate a culture of political manipulation and exploitation. It is imperative to recognize that declaring a state of emergency in a, in a drastic and extraordinary measure, not a political instrument to be exploited by partisan gain. Implementing such a measure would only serve to erode the trust of the populace in the democratic process further disenfranchising the people of River State and potentially exacerbating the, the existing tensions. Rather than resorting in the heavy-handed approach, we urge the authorities to focus on implementing tangible solutions that address the underlying issues. We emphatically call for the immediate apprehension of APC chairman in River State, whose inflammatory rhetorics and actions have been demonstrably linked to the current tension and instability. Furthermore, we demand that the federal government conduct a comprehensive investigation into APC's involvement in the security breaches in River State and hold them accountable for any wrongdoing instead of declaring a state of emergency. We call for accountability, justice, and transparency. The immediate arrest of the state APC chairman of River State is, necessary, is a necessary step towards restoring peace, stability, and normalcy in that region. Genuine peace building requires a commitment to justice, accountability, dialogue, and a willingness to investigate the root of the violence. Hold those responsible to account and create a space for open and honest conversation between the stakeholders. By adopting this approach, we can foster a more sustainable, equitable peace in River State.